Well, that's just ugly. That won't work for your stickers. Nope. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Oh, the May. That's just... That's not even holding on. Let's fix that. Well, good Sunday morning. How... I hope y'all had a good day yesterday. I did. I moved some buddies from a storage unit to a third floor apartment. So, cheers to my legs. So, y'all remember stickers, right? I told you it'd be the new channel bike. And it is. It's the channel bike. I'm not selling it. I'm not getting rid of it. It's mine. Why am I not selling it? Well, if you notice, there's no brake handles. There's, there's no handles. It's not like they're just, there's no handles. And I'll show you guys here soon. There's no brake components. Front, rear, hoses, cables, springs, wing nuts. They're all, they're all gone. They've been taken off. So that would be like selling a car, a used car with no brake pedal. 99% sure that's illegal. So, we're just going to use it as a send it bike. Busco, Cape Fear, Fast Tracks, Deep Creek, CAW, you name it. Send it bike. Still a 300, 4x4, locked 4x4. Um, 25, 27% gear reduction. But today, we're putting it on 30s. So, I'll throw a couple pictures in here to add to the story. So, throwing it back to last weekend, uh, I went and bought a 2016 General picture. Uh, three days later, I sold the Wolverine picture. Yesterday, I took the wheels and tires off the Wolverine to my buddy who bought my Kodiak off me. Put those wheels and tires on his Kodiak. I'll have a picture of that at some point. And now I have his 30s, which are actually a solid rear axle setup, to put on stickers. The locked 300 4x4. Keeping up? Good. Me either. So, enough talking. It's 2 minutes and 25 seconds of talking. Let's get into it. Here we go. So this is what's going on. Stickers. Boom. Set of 30 for the backs. 30 by 11, 14 silverbacks on HD alloy wheels by STI. These, I don't like silverbacks all that much, but uh, they came on one of my flips, so I think it'll look better than the nasty steelies that are on there now. So I'll get the other one in, we'll get it jacked up, and go from there. Now, I'll tell you a story. So we're getting ready to start swapping the tires on the Kodiak. And I realized the uh, MSA rims I had, uh, for whatever reason, had oblong uh, wheel stud holes, lug nuts. You couldn't fit a 17 in there. I called Honda Suzuki of Stanford at 15 minutes to close. Now granted, I was only five minutes away. At 15 minutes to close and said, dude, I need lug nuts for an aftermarket rim 
for a Honda Yamaha. He was like, I got them, come get them. We close in 15 minutes. I was like, I'll be there in three. I was there in two. He gave me a discount for literally showing up when I told him I'd show up. And they were beautiful ITP 14 millimeter head uh, extended lug nuts or aftermarket wheels, $39. And we got the Kodiak done. So massive shout out and a huge thank you to the people at Honda Suzuki of Sanford. Thank you guys. Gotta go way up. Gotta put big, big tires on ya. Big, 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 big tires. Here goes nothing. Why did I do that? Why did I start it? Why did I just do one? Because with these wheels and how small the hole is for the sockets, it's easier to kind of get one almost all the way down to get the wheel lined up on the hub so you can start the rest of your lugs. $75 to have a new one sent to me from eBay. I am not worried about it. I didn't spend sh on this bike. Suck it. You're just jealous you don't have 30s on your 300. Purist. That's the word I was looking for. What do you guys think? Looks a hell of a lot better than those stupid factory stock ones, doesn't it? Yeah, I have to agree with you on that. If any of you asked, once I put these wheels and tires on there, it sat in the corner. I didn't touch it because that's that one wheel was sketchy. I wasn't trying to tear the hubs up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some air pressure. That's definitely a thing. But no more spacers. extension doubles as a torque stick. Just saying. Whew, she's tall. Holy shit. Good lord. I'm gonna have to have I'm gonna put the spacers in these trunk shocks. There you go guys, what do you think? Makes a lot of difference, huh? These are also 30s, albeit you put you look front to back. They look a little bit different. But hey, we got the solid rear axle set up on here. Good looking uh, HD alloys. Um, I don't like the silver back, but they do have these massive lugs in the side, so you know, mud and whatnot, the cake. Next thing we gotta do to stickers is a new ignition cylinder. It's a little loose, the connections. We'll put some air in them, take it for a ride, see how bad it rides. I'm only running four pounds pressure. I swear, just four PSI. That's definitely not running for me. No. That would be stupid. Four. Just, just four pounds of pressure. Promise. Well. 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 Well, I guess I'll go take a first spin. I don't have a GoPro yet, um, but I just want to see kind of how bad it's Actually, that's the easiest. That's the easiest. It's, we're already in good shape because the steering is exponentially better. Ignore the squeak. It's fine. So, let's drive it. Well, it's... It's astronomically happier on the 30s versus the 27s. Make that make sense to me? You can't. But it cruises, it rides. I do need to put some spring spacers definitely in the front uh, just to kind of get a little more raise in the front. But other than that, I, I can't be happier. I mean, you know, it looks good. It's happy on 30s. It's a locked 4x4 300. Anyway, that's going to be it, guys. Good Sunday morning to you. Hope you all have a great week. Peace.